Yo, what's up guys? My name is Mr. Freeze2244 and welcome to the Phantom of the Palace challenge in Paris. If you've missed any challenges that I've covered so far for Paris, there'll be a link at the end of the video in the, after the credits. And there'll also be a drop down card on the screen right now for the full playlist. Now, if you have the attic start location, I recommend starting at that location because it'll be a lot easier and faster getting the vampire magician disguise. But if you don't have that start location, we're going to start with all the default items and that is the ultimate goal of what we need to do get the vampire magician disguise and we're going to target Dana Magolis because I feel like she's the easiest target for this one. There's a lot of chandelier involvements when it comes to these assassinations in Paris for some reason. They really did emphasize the chandeliers but I really think the first level of Paris is really just a showcase of what kind of different kind of accident kills and poisons you can do in the game which is uh, which does it well it does it effectively but I think this is like the fourth chandelier challenge in Paris. I think it's a bit overkill but that's just my my opinion so first things first we need to get up to the iago auction we're not going to use the invitation we're going to go around the back because it's a lot faster and a lot uh, a lot more straightforward so we're just going to come over this area here we're in a trespassing zone to be careful uh, of any enforcers that may be around climb this pipe all the way to the top and we'll be able to access the iago auction we need to get access to the attic, and there's going to be a lot of cicada security in there. So you just need to be wary of all the guards that are in there, but we can get around them pretty easily, as long as you follow the path I take. So we're going to enter the attic just over here. Just follow the path that I take, and you shouldn't uh, have any problems getting around. Just keep an eye on your minimap, and keep an eye on the locations for all the guards. Stay crouched. Use the cover to your advantage. You should be able to get over here relatively straightforward. So just through this door and behind the the statue in the middle, there's going to be a disguise. A vampire magician. Excellent. This will contribute to your chameleon challenge as well. So if you're missing one of the disguises, it might be this one. Now we're going to retrace our steps. Just again, watch out for where all the guards are. Use your instinct, use your minimap. Just use all the cover you have. Stay crouched, all that kind of stuff. Relatively straightforward. And now we need to get into Dahlia Magolis' bathroom. So we're just going to jump over this railing, climb along this ledge, get into the bathroom. We're going to use this clock radio over here, turn it on, and that's going to distract the guard that's in the room. Go ahead and turn it back off, because we don't want to distract anyone else after we take him out. We're going to stay crouched, because uh, we are going to approach this guard and take him out. So just stay crouched, otherwise he will see you in the mirror. So we've subdued him, and we're going to drag him now into the closet. Also getting rid of his weapon. Next we're just going to put that uh, weapon over... Oh, can I put it there? I do like to try and put it on this ledge right here and shoot it off, so just, just to get rid of the weapon. I hate that you can't put this gun anywhere in this room. Come on, there was a green prompt there just a second ago. No, no, forget it. I'll put it there. So I had a plan for this one, but I realized I forgot that this uh, her advisor isn't an enforcer. And there's a chandelier right in a right in a bedroom. I was going to take her out in the auction itself. But I thought, you know what? Screw it. It doesn't really matter. I can just get into this room, subdue this... This guy right in front of her. She doesn't even care. I'm going to punch her in the face. I'm going to drag her underneath the chandelier. And shoot the chandelier. Done. Phantom of the Palace. It's an accident kill as well. As long as you hide this guy's uh, body, you'll be able to, get to keep your son assassin rated. It's quite funny, really. But that's how you do the Phantom of the Palace challenge. Easy. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video if it helped you out. Subscribe if you are new to the channel and hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below next to the subscribe button or clicking the link in the description for all the details and all the perks of that. Shout out to my Psycho Assassin members, Arshal, Paul, Bedry, Mark Davis, Constantine, Mira, and Wandering Wendy. I really appreciate all your support recently. And if you've missed any videos that I've covered so far, there'll be a link just after these credits on the screen of the full playlist of challenge videos for Paris. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.